what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your very first time joining me my name is jessica i'm a mother as well as a makeup lover of course so for today's video i'm going to be doing this kind of oh i got lipstick on my teeth girl so for today's video i'm going to be doing this kind of like midnight purple vibes but essentially um i was requested to do a purple and silver eye look so those are the vibes of course definitely don't forget to stay tuned until the very end of the video where i always do an up close of my eyeshadow so that way you guys can see the true beauty of the blend because i feel like from this distance you're not you're not seeing what it's giving you know you're just kind of seeing the whole picture which she's still giving but of course the devil is in the details so definitely make sure that you're staying tuned until the very end of my video so you're seeing how everything looks in real life so yeah and if you guys are curious to see how i achieved this gorgeous gorgeous purple and silver eyeshadow then definitely keep on watching no you're not gonna focus so the eyelids are nice and primed i do have a general idea of what i'm gonna do um, it's more of like the execution that I'm a little bit nervous about. So I'm going to be taking the Unearthly Cosmetics in the Dark Eyeshadow Palette. She looks like this. And I'm actually going to start by taking the blue shade. Um, actually, no. You know what? Maybe I'll use that to deepen it. Let's start with this shade Prenatural. Preternatural. Preternational. Preternash. Preternatural. Preternatural. I'm going to be taking this in a Morphe M433 brush. Um, let's see. I think we're going to go for... We're going to go for a cut crease. I had to think about that. I know you guys have already seen the look in my intro. By the way, what did we think of the new intro? I just wanted to switch it up a little bit have some fun um i'm just kind of laying this color down buffing the edges out as you can see i did go in with a really fluffy brush so i have like a good amount of product all over my lid now and then i'll just wing out the edge of this the tip the tail end next i'm gonna take the shade ascend which is this really beautiful purple and i'm just gonna take this also on a morphe this is a morphe e17 brush and i'm gonna be very mindful because i do want to go in with one more lighter shade so i'm just gonna start to buff these edges out and soften them up and then when i reach the tail end i'll just kind of start flicking it out more but just something like that. You see the difference? So before I go in with the deepest shade, I'm going to take the Makeup and Murder pigment. And this is in the pastel purple. And I'm going to shake it so it attaches to the cork, right? Okay, tap some of that off. And then I'm just going to take my fluffy Wet n Wild brush. Take some product and just soften the edges. So the only, my only kind of like, I guess, criticism, like who am I to criticize anything? But my only like, I guess, thing about this um, in the dark eyeshadow palette is, I mean, I guess it's more of like a perf personal preference. I really like pastel, like light, very light pastel shades to blend out my darker shades. Um... And while this palette does have lighter shades, they still are very, like, m they're more deep in tone. So that's my only, like, criticism. Again, who am I to criticize anything? It's just, I guess, personal preference. So this is what that looks like with the pastel purple. It just gives it a very nice blend. Um, so now before I go in with all the colors i'll take the shade in the dark which is the blue which it looks purple in the pan which i think is like so like crazy like mind fuck you know it looks purple in the pan but it's actually like blue 
The reason why I didn't want to go in with this first though is because I really wanted this to be stark purple. So I'm just going to use this shade to really deepen it and give it that super dark look. Like, mm. Hi, hey, what? Huh? Do you need help? You do? Okay. Alright. Gotta help my kiddo again. Um, when I come back, that's gonna be blended. Okay, so I went ahead and I just cleaned off my whole crease with the P. Louise Cut Carver. So now I'm gonna take more of the base and lay it down. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shade Preter Natural and I'm gonna get it on this flat brush and I'm gonna sketch out a wing, a little inner corner moment. Okay, and then I could clean it up because it's just a little bit crooked down at the bottom. So I'm going to start with a little inner corner do to do and then I'll take starting from my like lash line. I'm going to flick out a wing. Okay, so after I draw this kind of like outer wing, I'm going to start to bring it in. I'm going to do like a smoky winged liner. So oh, let me just trace this all across my lashes. If you're not good at wing liner, you could also just take some tape, stick it on, and then just go to town. So you don't gotta do it how I do it. Um, next I'll take the shade Ascend and I'm gonna take it on this little flat like under eye brush. Mudge this out, but I'm gonna start taking it up a bit. So, how I like doing my wing liner sometimes is having it like go up this way and then back down. And then I'm gonna take a little tiny, small, little fluffy brush with more of the Makeup a Murder pigment, sorry. But I'm essentially stopping this blend. Like, I want this whole portion to be stark purple and then I'll start the blend from like, where my where my eye starts, you know, like the like circle in my eye, like right there. And then I'll fluff it out this way too. So now I'll just kind of go through those colors again to really make sure that everything's blended. I'm just going for like a smoky wing liner, you know? And then I could also like clean this up when I do like my face makeup. So it's a general idea. Let me do this eye and then we could do, I'm going to be taking the Peaches and Cream pigment in the shade Disco. And I'm also going to take her glitter, the Peaches and Cream glitter base. And I'm going to lay that down all on this blank space. And then I'm going to pack that base down. So let me go ahead and catch this eye up. And then that's what we're going to be doing next. Then I'm going to take a small but fluffy brush with that shade on there. And we'll just lay her down. So I'm. it's looking like I'm going to need to go over that purple liner again which is totally okay because you know loose pigments could be a bit messy oh my god look how pretty that is okay 
I'm thinking too, I want to take a little bit of the Kama Cosmetics. These are the Pressed Foil Pigment. This is in the shade Fallen Angel. So I want to use this to help blend the purple into the silver because I don't want a very stark liner. I want it to be like faded and blending. So this is like a purple to teal shift. And these are like so smooth and buttery. You don't need a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tap. So you see where the purple starts here, silver starts here. I'm going to tap right on the line. And then I am going to also go in with more of the like actual um, purple shades that I used and I'll, you know, re-smoke that out, but I just want to help that blend a bit. My tummy hurts. Okay. So I'm just taking those previous shades and kind of just tapping over the glitter and the shimmer to help those edges blend. And then I'm going to take the shade in the dark again on this little liner brush. And I'm just going to hit the very, very, like, uh, I'm going to do like a thin line right across the lash line, my little inner corner moment, as well as right in this wing. But I'm not taking it very far out. I'm just adding a little bit of depth. Mm hmm. So. I really just want to focus on the eyes today. I've been doing my face makeup in like all my past videos. My next video is going to be a full face. So I'm going to go ahead and do my face makeup off camera and come back and we could do under the eyes and lashes. And also I'm going to be doing a really fun lip today as well. So we could do that together as well. So let me go ahead and catch up and then come back. <laughs> so this is what she's looking like with my face is done. So I actually went and I sat with the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder. So this is a powder foundation. So what I've been doing, sorry, this is just like a random side note. What I've been doing when I've been doing my kind of everyday makeup is just going in with like a powder foundation because I don't really like feel like the most important thing to me is covering up my my dark circles under my eyes. So obviously you can still see my bags. Um, so when I'm doing like a more everyday natural makeup, I'll put concealer under my eye and then I'll just go in and set it with the powder. So I wanted to try setting the powder like with the rest of my makeup, but I sort of feel like it's not very smooth compared to like my other powders that I haven't used. I mean, it looks good, but I think it's gonna crease. Like I, I could just kind of feel like it's gonna crease. So I'm gonna give it like a couple of hours and see how it kind of sets into my skin. But I mean, it definitely gave me that full coverage. So for under my eyes, I do wanna keep it more soft because I do have a lot going on. So I'm going to start by taking the shade Preternatural. Preternatural. Why does that sound so weird? What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this all the way across the whole thing. Across the whole daddy. Me and my little sister are uh, snapchatting each other and we're literally just singing like our old like or old, like the old show songs, like for example, Dragon Tales, Dragon Tales. That's the only part I knew. So then I sent it to her, and she finished it, and I was like, My uh, my younger sister lives in Texas, and then my other younger sister lives in California. You bitches are lame because you don't live here in Colorado with me. Look at that! Oh, oh, that just like. The cat eye wing. Fucking stop it right now. So I'm going to dust this brush off really, really good because I'm going to be going in with the shade Ascend, which is the lighter purple shade. Yeah. And I'm very lightly just going to smudge this right under there. Go, go. So just like this. Sort of just complete that little blend there. 
So now for the final touch for this eye. I'm going to take the Unearthly Cosmetics Gel Liner in the shade Jam, which is the purple. It looks like I've got pink eye now. I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to take the shade In the Dark, which is the blue. Again, I don't know if these are eye safe, so maybe don't do this step. So let's do some lashes I'm thinking I was thinking to go in with some like less dramatic lashes I'm gonna take these Ioni lashes these are in the style wispy flare spiky because they're wispy the baby's upstairs immediately yes immediately yes these are the ones we're gonna use okay and then, so those are the lashes. So again, the Ioni Lashes, Wispy, Flare, Spiky. These are part of their uh, Dia de los Muertes. De, le, de les Muertos. I'm supposed to be Hispanic, but I don't know. I don't speak Spanish. But I could answer a try. Because I'm supposed to be Hispanic. I'm going to be taking the Unearthly Cosmetics lipstick. And this one's in the shade Angela. Purple, bitch, purple. Tell me that's not the exact fucking purple. The thing that I love, I think the thing that I love the most about Honestly Cosmetics is that they have quite a few lipsticks to match quite a few of their eyeshadow shades. Like, for example, I believe I have this shade in a lipstick as well. And then this palette, I have like, I think it's like this and this shade mixed together to make this lipstick. Yeah. So I, I really like that because having the tone of my eyeshadow on my fucking lips yes 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 so let me go ahead change my shirt straighten my hair finish my eye lashes lips finish this bitch up okay and then we come back and we can see the completed look so here we have the completed look um i feel like i wish that i had like a deep purple shirt because i don't know i feel super pale and i don't know if it's because i'm wearing like the dark eyes the dark lips I don't know if it's like the pale shirt with the dark I don't know I just feel very pale and like I, I'm white I know I'm pale but like girl she's getting goth you know what I mean but these are the vibes what do we think and of course you guys obviously definitely could pair a nude lip with this and it would still look so absolutely stunning um, but I just wanted to do the purple because I had the same tones and I love I love that aesthetic matching like all the tones together like mm so nice of course I'll be sure to leave all of my face products down in the description box for you guys if you're curious about any of the face products that I used so I really do hope that you guys enjoyed today's tutorial definitely don't forget to like and subscribe if you like me and if you like my content and without further ado we're gonna go right on ahead roll the clip <laughs> <laughs>